How you doing? It's me. There you go. What's going on, people? Hey, I want to uh, start off the show today. Come on. Uh, we're going to have a good time together uh, as per usual. And um, I want y'all to uh, hit that like button and subscribe. Help us get there to 100,000. Uh, shit, carry the two. at five minus. I'm sorry. I start to do the maths, and I get a, a my mouth starts to taste like a penny, and I can feel the blood bloody nose dripping backwards into my. <laughs> it ain't no good. It's a okay. Uh, microphone is on. All right, we're ready to do the show now. Okay, Hal, take it away. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the show. I. <laughs> I, uh, okay, chat room, I know the camera's not up yet, and they'll say, like, I love when I'm behind, yep, Ficus, uh, just wants you to care about the show, wants you to help make a difference, please hit that like right away, um, you can always take it back, you can always just unclick it at the end, and be like, that was that, and by God, today, he was just, there was, the quality was way fucking down, it was just, it ain't never happened, you always bringing, you always batting a thousand and swinging for the fences, man, so, don't let anybody give you any shit. Well, thank you, Ficus. I appreciate that, my friend. But uh, some people, the standard is very high. It's been very high. You, you bet it's high, man. Hired one of my cousins on a meth bender, uh, you know, with the on a on a moonshine enema. That's a real thing. I just want you to know that. Moon River. I <laughs> said to catch up with you later. Um. All right. Thank you so much. Happy Motang Monday. That's right. Uh, T-shirt still available uh, from one of uh, Donald Trump's uh, most classic phrases, which I don't have programmed into this particular sound setup unless my laptop is hooked up, which it isn't because I had to take it on the road with me to go do a show. And um, just remember, thanks, Michigan. Michigan gave us Motown and the Mustang, which if you put them together, <laughs> Motang. Um, <laughs> that's not what I think of when I see it, though. <laughs> I think of okay. Let me say on the one on the one front, okay. I ain't thinking about the astronaut citrus beverage, and I'm certainly not thinking of less tang. You know what I'm saying? If <laughs> you do, that's right. Yeah. So. Just between you and me, it's true. <laughs> I wear this, I tell you, man, I wear this shirt out in public and I get funny looks, man, because people think it's a dirty joke. And it kind of is. Now. <laughs> All right. Um, let's jump straight in because uh, we're waiting, waiting patiently for uh, this uh, Trump to show up. <laughs> um, Ficus is he's feeling refreshed because if he's doing all right these days, so Tr Trump is making a statement about the Supreme Court decision. So uh, he comes out. I I don't know if he. Yeah, I, I'm not quite sure. Well, we'll see. This is uh, this is definitely. Is this at Bedminster? I think this is at Bedminster. Well, thank you very much. I want to start by thanking the Supreme Court for... I love he's like, thank you very much for that round of applause. I swear to God, I think there are reporters there to uh, take questions, but it doesn't seem like it. It seems like he's just walking into an empty room. It's a unanimous decision today. It was a very important decision. We're very well crafted. <laughs> I looked at it. They were, uh, uh, it was whittled. It was a whittled. It, it was, it was made with care. It was, they wove it and whittled it. It was highly crafted by people who know crafts, not the macaroni and cheese people, but the spelled with a C. And I think it will go a long way toward bringing our country together, which our country needs. And uh, why uh, they, Worked long, they worked hard, and frankly, they worked very quickly. <laughs> long and quickly. <laughs> long, hard, and quickly. Attorneys at law. These are, these are this is Trump's legal team. They worked long and quickly. 
Sure, absolutely. They folded time. <laughs> they were able to, I guess, use a warp drive or something. They 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 spent a thousand years coming up with their decision, and then they traveled back in time to lay it on us <laughs> long and quickly. On something that will be spoken about a hundred years from now and two hundred years from now, extremely important. Yeah, spoken about 100 years from now. Remember that dumb shit way back in, like, when the fuck was it? When that game show host asshole who was on that reality show ended up being president for, like, six weeks or eight months? However long, what the fuck was that about? I don't even remember. Uh, God, it's been so long. I mean, we're all alive now because we got vaccinated. And, of course, uh, the great purge happened. And there's really no one left on the earth except people who uh, actually want to live and aren't uh, convinced that they can... Um, fight a tyrannical government with a pea shooter. But uh, anyways, some orange fuck, right? He said that. Yeah, I don't remember. Anyways, pass the glurba flurb. Essentially, you cannot take somebody out of a race because an opponent would like to have it that way. Yeah, that wasn't why they were taking you out of the race. It was because you're an insurrectionist and, and they felt that that was uh, uh, reasonable. And it has nothing to do with the fact that it's the leading candidate, whether it was the leading candidate or a candidate that was well down on the totem pole well down on the totem pole okay so like ted cruz <laughs> you cannot take somebody out of a race the voters oh he farted he always does the f uh, jacket flare when he farts that's it that's how he hides it on the totem pole you cannot take somebody out of a race the voters can take the person out of the race very quickly <laughs> apparently not they took you out of the fucking race in november of 2020 and you still you're still in there according to you what the fuck are you talking about but a court shouldn't be doing that and the supreme court saw that very well and i really they saw it very well i agree they saw it very well i think people saw that loud and clear yeah <laughs> they saw it very well did they they saw that very well <clears throat> i do believe that will be a unifying factor because while most uh, states were thrilled to have me <laughs> well obviously not the ones where you still owe money for the security for your rallies and the damage done and all that shit that you know all, all the states you did you have to now like if you want to have what you call a rally it's like at some like low res private airport because you can't get a a a like a city uh like a fit a stadium or a school or anything like that because you you can't get a, a a permit anywhere because you won't pay your fucking bills yeah, there were some that didn't and they uh why would that why would that why why would that be what was that what was that? Oh, the insurrection, right? The whole uh, sending your fucking supporters up to hang your vice president. I don't, I don't know why they had a problem with that. It's weird. They didn't want that for political reasons. They didn't want that because of poll numbers, because the poll numbers are very good. We're uh, beating President Biden in almost every poll. Uh huh. Keep telling yourself that, buddy. New York Times came out yesterday with a very. By the way, uh, you know who also said that? Uh, Elizabeth Warren, uh, Bernie Sanders. Um... <laughs> Even Kamala Harris. Yeah, but... Big uh, poll for us. So they uh, they didn't like that. And you can't do that. You can't do what they tried to do. <clears throat> Sorry, this is fucking just... You can't make a speech like some prepared remarks? Jesus Christ. There's no podium, so he's just standing there like a dickhead. They moved the camera in so it's almost normal. But like if I did this show and I was just like way back here... And my hands were just dangling at my sides, and I was just kind of doing this the whole time. I, I this motherfucker looks like a kid in a in like an elementary school play. And when the pilgrims cross the mighty seas, <laughs> Jesus. And hopefully, Colorado, as an example, will unify. I know there's tremendous support. They've they brought our support up very strong in Colorado because people thought people in Colorado thought that was a terrible thing that they did and while we're on the subject yeah and i i'm sure lauren bobert is 
counting on riding your coattails right to the finish line. Project, and another thing that will be coming up very soon will be immunity for a president and not immunity for me, but for any president. Yeah, especially Biden. So, he, so you're saying is Joe Biden could hire SEAL Team 6 to, I don't know, kill his primary political rival. And as long as nobody has a chance to impeach him, he could just step down. He could never be charged with a crime. That's weird. And he could just hand it off to his vice president who's on a need to know basis. She never heard the whole thing. I mean, I'm speaking figuratively. If a president doesn't have full immunity. <laughs> no. If a, if, a, if a president has full immunity, he's a king, dickhead. He's not a president anymore. You really don't have a president because nobody that is serving in that office will have the courage to make, in many cases, what would be the right decision or it could be the wrong decision. It <laughs> yes, you must have the courage to make the wrong decision at the right time. <laughs> that's key. I think, I think, and I think that's clear. If you read this, uh, the, the initial uh, briefings that the SCOTUS had or whatever, one of their primary concerns and they were pushing about it, what if the president needs to make the wrong decision at the, <laughs> at the right time? <laughs> uh-huh. Could be in some cases the wrong decision, but... Yeah, uh, you, as you demonstrated several times during your presidency. They have to make decisions and they have... That is true. I will say that. I mean, hey, when you're right, you're right. <laughs> to make them... Free of all terror. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Does Terra Dublin know? Uh, look, uh, it's bad enough that Matt Gates is attacking her, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> Dog shit. What? <laughs> Free from all the terror. The terror. The, the horror. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Free. What? What? Or it could be the wrong decision. It could be in some cases the wrong decision, but they have to make decisions and they have to make them free of all terror that can be. God, I'm gonna die. This one's gonna, <laughs> this one's gonna kill me. Oh shit! <laughs> oh God! <laughs> oh my God! The Terra, the Terra. Jesus Christ! Oh. <laughs> Oh, shit. Okay, that was okay. <laughs> All right. Whew, I got to breathe. We got to be... <laughs> oh. It rained upon them when they leave. <laughs> the terror that will be rained upon them. What? What? What the... What the hell? The terror that will be rained upon them? <laughs> what? Hold on. Is that a, was that a fucking sentence? Be in some cases the wrong decision, but they have to make decisions and they have to make them free of all terror that can be rained upon them when they leave office or even Jesus Christ, what? <laughs> Terra that can be rained upon them once they leave office. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, shit. I mean, what an asshole. Uh, Even before they leave office. And <laughs> before they leave office. Shit. 
Uh. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. Mm. Some decisions are very tough. I can tell you that as a president, that some decisions to make are very tough. I took out ISIS. Yeah, that was a tough one. He wanted to keep it, but, you know, it was like, let's see. Uh, keep fighting ISIS, the rest of the 10% that's left over from when Obama took care of most of it, or not. Yeah. I mean, what'd you do, flip a fucking coin? And I took out some very big people from the standpoint of a different part of the world. Could you be a little more specific? <laughs> could, I mean, can you tighten it up a little? I mean, that could be a lot of people in a lot of places. I. <laughs> Jesus Christ. From the standpoint. <laughs> oh, I took out a lot of people from the stand. What? What? Very big. People from wait. Some very big people. And I took out some very big <laughs> people from the standpoint of a different part of the world. Yeah, sure you did. Yeah. I, I, all right. I'll just take your word for it. <laughs> for it. Uh, <clears throat> can somebody please check on Beyonce because uh she, she, she's she's very big in certain parts of the world, you know, and it, uh, <clears throat> so is Justin Trudeau, I think, technically, and, uh, oh, <laughs> what? Uh, two of the leading terrorists, probably the two leading terrorists ever. Ever? Yeah, absolutely. The, uh, you just name them, R rattle their name off. You, they're on the tip of your tongue. Just say them. Two of the biggest terrorists ever. Just say it. That we've ever seen in this world yes on this earth of place that is building also golf course and be and with grass and roads around <laughs> and uh those are big decisions i yeah they are it, it's a bit and by the way <clears throat> his uh assassination of Qasem soleimani is the the decision that he's talking about or talking, I guess, around. And technically speaking, there are concerns about that because it was an extrajudicial assassination. It was it was in a third country. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't like they attacked us and so we fired into Iran or something and killed him in the process or some shit like that. Or he was <clears throat> in a in a like on an unsanctioned trip someplace or whatever. He was just like he he crossed over into a NATO country or something like that and we had a catch or kill order on him and they couldn't take him alive so they had to kill him and like it wasn't even that he, he was going to the airport and and good riddance to bad rubbish but for fuck's sake what he's what he's trying to use and this is his lawyers telling him this is that he could have gone to fucking like it's not even the, the United States jail he has to worry about this is Soleimani's the reason he can't flee the country so Soleimani it's not even that the, the U.S. isn't going to our courts aren't going to charge him for killing that dude. But if he decides to go fly to some other countries, some of them might decide at some point, fuck that guy, he killed one of our people. And if he doesn't have the protections of it because he's already been to jail for some other shit and he doesn't have secret service anymore, then they could pick him up. That's what he's worried about, for real. Don't want to be prosecuted for it? Uh, another president wouldn't want to be prosecuted for it? Well, they didn't do it. I guess obviously that's the easy way to maybe maybe knowing what the limits of the law are keep you living within the limits of the law. Otherwise, the idea that you would give any human being like the power to be above the law in like in perpetuity is insane. It's fucking crazy. And why? And this is how they you know they don't actually believe. Biden's a criminal or any of the shit they say about him because if they actually believed any of that shit the last thing he would want is Biden to have that power 
Are you nuts? It had a tremendously positive impact. It stopped everything cold. No, it didn't. And sometimes you have to make those. They were tough decisions. Sometimes you have to make decisions like that. Yeah, none of these are the ones you're being charged with, asshole. You do realize this. This is you, stealing classified documents and showing them to God knows who and burying them in your ex-wife's coffin after she fell down the stairs. You know, she was wearing her Putin slippers, apparently. Um, <laughs> that That's what you're being charged with, not carrying out a military action. When you make a decision, you don't want to have your opposing party or opponent or even somebody that just thinks you're wrong bring a criminal suit against you or any kind of a suit when you leave office i have any kind of a suit that's kind of interesting don't you think he's a, yeah not just the criminal stuff because i think i can get away with the criminal stuff i can pardon myself from that but the civil stuff that's really the problem you broke motherfucker that right now at a level that nobody's ever seen before i have well yeah that's because you you could have just, after you lost to E. Jean Carroll the first time, you could have shut the fuck up. <laughs> that would have saved you about, what, $78 million? Rogue prosecutors, and I have rogue judges. I have judges that are out of control. Yeah, they just, I, they can't even get words out. They're just spitting and fuming and throwing papers. None of them have been able to file any paperwork. They can't even write decisions because they're just like, ah, ah, ah. they just got paint cans and their fucking dick out and they're just psh, out of control man they have no control none they're shitting themselves their bowels are just flay everywhere and stuff they're out of control they're just no control and it's a very unfair thing for me but um serving perhaps as a uh, sample <laughs> the phrase the phrase is test case that yeah, serving as a test case you're not a, you're not a sh like the shitty chocolate with the jelly stuff inside of it that's really nasty in the whitman sampler where you're like uh put it back <laughs> you're the, this is donald trump just in a in one of those little disposable paper cups they have at, at costco and they're trying to get you to try a granola bar so they break chunks of granola into a thing and here eat this dry thing walk around as the water gets sucked out of your mouth to sample jesus but um serving perhaps as a uh, sample to uh I'm go we're going to run out of soundboard space at this point with the number of uh, others of what should not be happening when you make good decisions. What? Wait. Sample to others of what should not be happening when you make sample to others. You mean example? You mean you mean exa example to others of what should not be happening. Fuck, that's just fucking just thread those words. I mean, he's, what do I know? He's got the best words. He can put them in whatever order he wants. <laughs> can't, can't think of the word example, says sample instead. Good decisions. And in my case, the economy was great. We didn't go into any wars. We totally defeated ISIS. We provide. I mean, I didn't get us out of Afghanistan. I ran on it, but fuck you people, really. And I could have had an Iran deal. But <clears throat> the election didn't go my way, so fuck you. I hope you all die in a nuclear winter. I did the largest tax cuts in history. We Well, till the half that was for people as opposed to corporations expires, and then it kind of drops off a cliff. Provided the largest regulation cuts in history. Yeah, uh, tell that to people in Palestine, Ohio. But think of it, no wars. We beat ISIS 100% of the caliphate yeah obviously the caliphate part you know a lot of isis still left over including quite frankly uh the ones that uh killed our service people in in afghanistan when we were all leaving so that was isis k <clears throat> but i guess you could have discussed this with abdul then there were no wars we we did a job that was great but i maybe i wouldn't we did a job that was great you mean you did a great job 
We did a job. That was great. This is starting to sound like Rocky poetry. <laughs> I've done that. The and you started to slip, and I gave you a lip. But it was our first date, and you were great. Caliphate defeating them was very powerful. It was going to take four years. It took me four months. <laughs> no. <clears throat> it didn't take four months. They're still around. Also, it, it, nobody said, nobody told him four years. Um, it, it, I, 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 like this number's jumped around a lot. It was like two years at one point, And then it was like four months. And he said four weeks. And the guy said, Raisin Kane said two weeks and all this shit. And the thing, the, what would shorten uh, that time immensely, a long time to end ISIS. But if we don't give a fuck about killing civilians, we can get this shit done right away. But it was a very strong uh, dictum that I gave. I said, What? It was a what? But it was a very strong uh, dictum that I gave. very strong dictum <laughs> that I gave. Oh, no. Where's oh. Dick? Hi, oh. Dick. Do we very like Dick? Yes. What? What would, what would be that dictum uh, that you gave? Uh, tell me the dictum. <laughs> months, but it was a very strong uh, dictum that I gave. I said, get him. Get him! <laughs> it's like Ghostbusters. Get her! Did you see it? What was it? We'll get back to you. Get her. Go get her, Ray. <laughs> the very strong dictum. I said, get him. Uh, dictum that I gave. I said, get him. Defeat him. End it. Really? Just that's that's what made it strong was kind of two words. Get him, defeat him, end it. <laughs> that's the dictum. Did they have it on T-shirts when they? Do you send T-shirts to SEAL Team Six so they could wear them? Black letters on black fabric. Just get them, end it. We were fighting for twenty years against ISIS, and we did it very quickly. No, we weren't. I don't want to be prosecuted. In that case, it worked out very well. There will be some things that perhaps don't work out so well. You mean like your COVID response? Or? But I don't want to be prosecuted. 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 <laughs> I don't want to be prosecuted. Kind of had a had a. Perhaps don't work out so well, but I don't want to be prosecuted. Prosecuted because I. Did you hear that beep in the background when he fucked up that word? Did they have him on a like a little heart monitor that like he gets a heart flutter when he fucks up a word now? Prosecuted. Uh, hated Perhaps him. don't work out so well, but I don't want to be prosecuted. Prosecuted. Be <laughs> prosecuted. <laughs> because I decided to do something that is very much for the good of the country and actually for the good of the world. A president shouldn't have that on his mind and he has to have a free and clear mind when he makes very big decisions. Okay, so you're stepping down, I guess. Is that what you're telling us? <laughs> you, you're, this is, uh, and that's why I'm announcing, uh, I'm, I'm pausing my, uh, very strongly, my very strong campaign that I will stop and put a stopping on as I go, but not forward. Because of that brain thing. Or it's going to be nothing more than a ceremonial post. You'll be president, it'll be a wonderful thing, and you won't do anything because you don't want to be hit by your opponent or hit by somebody else. Because what, why would you hit, How would you get hit by your opponent? If your opponent gets in, they're just, they would know they're running to be just in a ceremonial post too. So they'll have just as little power. Why would anybody run for president anymore? What? Wouldn't we have just like a committee? What? Who wants to leave office and go through what I've gone through? Nobody. That's why they don't sexually assault women and, and uh, 
lie about the size of buildings they own and <laughs> brag about it. I don't know. Like, that's why they obey the law, I think. You know, like, as a matter of fact, <laughs> not... <laughs> not breaking the law and being aware of where the lines are is what keeps people from, you know, leaving office with that fear. Like, well, I, we have lawyers in the white house and I speak to them on the regular and we were very clear to stay within the legal bounds of what I'm as, you know, I can do within the constitution and as the chief officer of the constitution. Yeah. I don't It's weird that nobody else seemed to fr freaked out about that. Yeah. I'm being prosecuted by Biden, my opponent, because every one of these things, whether it's Fannie Willis or Bragg, these are local and state, but they're in total coordination with the White House. You can yeah, but that's because there's federal cases against you as well, and it's kind of a big deal politically, so they're letting them in on it, but they're not taking orders on it, you dumbass. You can't do that. It shouldn't be done. done. It shouldn't be done. Done. should do to do do should not do what you do when you do what you did did, did to me. Oh, baby. I mean, a thing like that. <laughs> shouldn't, it, sh it shouldn't be. With the White House, you can't do that. It shouldn't be done. Done. I mean. Yeah, it shouldn't be doing. It shouldn't be done. You shouldn't be doing what you've done. A thing like that. Uh, in the case of the DA's office, they put one of the top people, maybe the second person, in the Manhattan DA's office to get Trump. They had a Hillary Clinton lawyer leave the law firm, very prestigious, big law firm, leave the law firm. Pri private, private lawyer went to, got a, got a job working for the government there because they <clears throat> have particular skills, a particular set of skills that might be needed, maybe. To go into the DA's office to get Trump, Pomerantz, Mr. Pomerantz. Remember his name, but you can't remember uh, Soleimani or no, not gonna. So he goes in to become a prosecutor. Worked for the Democrat Party and Hillary Clinton. Goes in to prosecute Donald Trump at a local level, in total coordination with the Department of Justice, meaning Biden. And then you have the Fannie Willis, or as she would say, Fonny, Fonny. No, that's how most people pronounce it. It's actually how her name is. It's not how she says it. It's how her name is pronounced. It's Fonnie Willis. Asshole. That's why you're saying Fanny, because to you it's but and therefore. Yeah. F-A-N-I, but Fonnie. And she hired somebody, knew the person long before this horrible prosecution took place. And she... And long before. Wait, I gotta back up even further. And she hired somebody, knew the person long before this horrible prosecution took place. And she went out and she paid him an unbelievable amount of money, more money than he ever had dreamt possible. Much more money than other people that are that do that for a living. He you mean <clears throat> obviously you're not talking about like your uh um, the forensic accountant you had that you paid to say you had great books, that guy you paid like what, 400 K for like, to just, to not look at your books, to not actually do the work. Never did it at all. Had no experience in it at all. Well, it, to, it, in his defense, I would say, and he's not, obviously you're mixing up Pomerantz and, um, the, the other DA that Bonnie Willis is, his Pomerantz is in New York. You're talking about. Atlanta now, <clears throat> but I, I think, um, technically speaking, you were so ham handed in your criminality and such a dickhead that it doesn't really take an expert to go after you. You know what I mean? It was like, we all heard it. We all heard the recorded phone call. The, the evidence is there. And they had obviously a conflict. We don't have to go into that, but... Yeah, please do, though. I mean, you don't have to, but just fill me in. Explain it to me. They were able to get a lot of money because it was a high-profile person. Me, I'm a very high-profile person. Mm -hmm. So they were... And, you know, in terms of, uh, in relation to parts of the world. They were able to pay him close to a million dollars when he was not 
equipped to do the job, and she's not equipped to do the job, and that case should end immediately. That case is so conflicted, nobody's ever seen anything like it. <laughs> like it. And then you have deranged Jack Smith, who's a Trump hater, and represents all the Trump haters. Um, you're supposed to come out and just talk about the Supreme Court decision and then just kind of move on and go, hey, 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 and then I guess maybe, I don't know, are there people there? Taking, are you just, is he just filling time until they find reporters that are like hanging around? Are they tapping people on the shoulder at Marlowe and going, are you, do you write for, do you know anybody that's a journal? Are you a journalist? Like, did you report? Can you come with me for a second? Yeah, he's talking in the other room and when he's done, um, would you mind asking him a question? I can even give you the questions That'll if that helps. Sure. And he's going wild. He's just a wild man. He's been wild. He looks wild. Wild. Overturned unanimously by the Supreme Court. When after other people over the years, he's had great failure, but he's. Well, this is his one chance to redeem himself. I think this is a pretty much a layup, dickhead. Uh, mean, he's nasty, he's unfair. And the judges on these cases, they're all Trump haters. Other well, in, in all fairness, they have seen the evidence. So that's that's probably why. I mean, I don't know that they started out as Trump haters. I think they're probably indifferent to you. And then they read the actual evidence and they're like, Jesus, fuck this guy. Then we have maybe one or two that I think can be fair. You mean the ones you put in, <clears throat> you literally gave them their job, so you're hoping that they bail you out? Couldn't be what you're talking, no? But you look at New York, what's happened. I mean, these people have tremendous hatred. You can't do this to a president. And again, I'm not talking about me, I'm talking about... Yeah, yeah, you're just talking about any other president who might, I don't know, spitballing, um, you know, get uh, well before he ever decided to run decades before, get charged with, um, you know, civil rights violations for not renting to black people where he and his father went in on a piece of property so that he could hand off that to his, his namesake son. And then that guy grows up and becomes basically a New York gadfly and is only kept afloat through Russian loans and that kind of stuff and becomes so compromised that he becomes like it just kind of a an attack dog for the hyper right wing of the United States. And then he, they keep funding him. And then through social media manipulation, they give him a chance to actually run for office. And then because of a bunch of like dick dipshit faux aggressives actually ends up in the White House and uh, destroys a woman's right to choose. Um, so and then gets out of office after having sexually assaulted a woman and lying about both the, the taxes that he should be paying on his buildings and the sizes and the value of those properties uh, at the same time to banks and getting loans he didn't deserve. I mean, like something like that, like if all those things happened again, yeah, it would be bad if, if somebody like that had to actually see the inside of a courtroom. But in the future, a president has to be free. <laughs> That's right. Free. Free. What? A president has to be, if the president does a good job, I did. Some people would say a great job. <laughs> oh. <coughs> oh my fucking God. But if the president does a good job, a president should be free and clear and frankly celebrated. Why aren't you thanking me for breaking the laws I broke? I'm being indicted for you, black population. I mean, honestly, black people. When I think of you, I think of crime. And if I'm being charged with a crime, you've got to sympathize with me because it's the same thing. I mean, if I had a driver's license, could actually drive a car, I'd probably get pulled over and, and treated just like you. You get... Jesus Christ. For having done a good job. You're, yeah, I agree. They should be celebrated for doing a good job. Uh, Obama, great job. Uh, Bill, fantastic. Jimmy Carter, you don't get enough credit. Honest to God. Just, uh, yeah. Thank, yeah, excellent. Not indicted four times and not gone after on a civil basis. Well, I, I don't know that that's anybody's fucking business. It, it, here's a good uh, I, idea. Um, like, one second, if I may. Stop breaking the law, asshole! Um and not uh, demanded to be to pay hundreds of millions of dollars in fines on something that was absolutely perfect where there were no victims 
Uh, I'm convinced. Yeah, yeah. Hey, guys, wrap it up. I don't think you should pay the fines. Let's let's roll those back. That wasn't nice. That wasn't nice at all. Yeah, yeah, no. No, no, no. And while you're at it, I think we should all uh, get a, you know, a, a, a wheelbarrow full of fucking cinder blocks and go down there and add 10 floors to, uh, what is it, uh, ten, uh, Trump Wall Street or whatever. Later, we'll just, we'll put the floor, you know what? We'll, we'll unlie this motherfucker. That's what we'll do. We'll just fix his lies and make them true. Where the financial statements were absolutely flawless, where you have disclaimer clauses. <laughs> Look, I'm full of shit where the statute of limitations was run out. You can't get me. I mean, nobody's ever had a thing like this. I wasn't given a jury. And I had a clubhouse judge just come up with this number on a perfect loan. <laughs> on a perfect loan. <clears throat> what loan would that be? The one where uh, you you were you went into default and uh, Deutsche Bank was coming after you, and then you s countersued them to pause the whole thing, and then went and found an investor from God knows fucking where to back your $250 million so they'd extend it through Deutsche Bank and, and Deutsche Bank basically laundered money for some criminal enterprise to bail you out of the Trump Tower Chicago, that one? Or are we talking about another one? And very conservative financial statements. But even at that, if you look... The <laughs> yeah, I, 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 the trial's over, dumbass. You've already lost. I mean, like, you're not going to be able to fix this on appeal, and I got news for you. Nobody listening to you is going to be able to change this shit. I'm dead serious. Who the fuck are you talking to? Disclaimer says don't rely on the financials. <laughs> yeah, don't rely on what I wrote. What are you fucking stupid? I wrote that. Of course it's bullshit. Statements in any way, shape, or form. Yeah, nothing. Just the first page says this is bullshit. <laughs> this is some bullshit. <laughs> Go out and do your own work. Your own work. Due diligence, you mean? <laughs> Go out and do your own due diligence. Which is the phrase. Work is fine. Just say work. work uh, due diligence is hard to <clears throat> remember. You know, it's a lot. <laughs> Just say Pomerantz again. <laughs> oh. I swear to God, I feel like this fucking room is empty. Like, I... I I know he takes questions at the end of this, supposedly, but yeah, and, and he's not, I don't know why he's not doing it outside. I think somebody finally showed him the video of me making fun of the fact that he does it outside on the stoop and you can't hear him over the fucking airplanes. The bank in question had the most sophisticated lawyers in the world, frankly. Yeah, a lot of them spoke like fluent Russian. It was amazing. That sounds like nonsense. Have you ever heard somebody speak Russian? Who, who's smart enough to speak Russian besides, oh shit. They're very top, one of the top law firms anywhere in the country. Which country would that be? And they can defend themselves. What guys like uh, Bragg and uh, Letitia James and Fonny and uh, deranged Jack Smith, what they should be doing is fighting violent crime. Yeah, that's not their gig, though. That's not, they, they, they have people for that. There's people that do the violent crime stuff, and then there's people who do the white-collar crime stuff. And uh, every time a white collar criminal gets busted, they always yell and scream and go, you should be arresting violent criminals. And, and to them, everyone should just say, we have people that do that. We're dedicated to you. We're here to make sure you don't ruin the entire monetary system, you fucking clown. And that would lead me to the end, I will say. <laughs> and that would lead me to the end. I gotta say, uh, I, I would give him an F for clarity, but an A for originality. The man can put a brand new sentence together that no one's ever heard before. We don't know what it means, really, but uh, but certainly it's, it's a fresh take on English. That's what I would say. <laughs> Not, I, I haven't heard brand new sentences like this since someone I met who'd been recently hit in the head with a shovel. <laughs> that would bring me to the end. Say that 
President Biden, number one. <laughs> what are you going to do, grab his tits? Stop weaponization. Fight your fight yourself. Bring it on. You said you wanted to take me out behind the woodshed or the clubhouse or the the gymnasium or something like that. I can't find it. Do you know where it is? Don't use prosecutors and judges to go after your opponent to try and damage your opponent so you can. Right. Uh, so, so you'll be calling James Comer and Jim Jordan right after this? To tell them to knock it the fuck off because it's going nowhere. Win an election. Our country is much bigger than that. Yeah, it is. It's great. It's actually, uh, you know, it's pretty, pretty fucking awesome right now. It's, it's getting there. The other thing I say to President Biden, close the borders. <laughs> oh, all of them. Not just the southern border. So Canada, fuck you, Canada. And it, you know what the problem with America is? All the goddamn beaches. Beaches? We don't need no stinking beaches. Close up the beaches. Just build, build that wall around the entire... Yes, America, the greatest gated community on earth. Now. <laughs> All of them. Especially the northern border. There's, there's just uh, like hundreds of thousands of maple syrup deaths a year. This is not sustainable for our country. It's not sustainable for our cities. Our country is under siege. No, not really. And if it was under siege, then there would be a wall and, and like Venezuelan immigrants would be like, I don't know, using catapults to throw dead cows filled with malaria over the wall or. This is a violent thing that you've done. I'm talking about my diaper. It is absolutely full, and it's your fault. <laughs> Jesus, this is a violent thing that you've done. Jesus. This is a violent thing that you've done, and many people are dying. Many, many people are dying. They die on the trip up. Y yeah, that's your big concern. You're worried about the people dying in the caravans? They die going through the border? <laughs> well, because of the fucking razor wire. I mean, you could fix that shit, I suppose. Okay. And your biggest concern is these people dying on their way here. Because Republicans, every time they're on the news, say the border is wide open. Gee, I wonder where these motherfuckers got the idea that they could just walk into the country. It couldn't possibly be you and all your maggot asshole friends getting in front of every microphone you can and going, Jesus Christ, the border's wide open. You could just waltz right in. They give you free living expenses and fr free health care and all that this illegal business. Ill 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 yeah, for all the... Free health care for illegal... Ill Ill yeah, look. Yeah, I, I don't know where the fuck they got the idea that they could just come up here except from fucking you. And they die in our country. Um, how? I thought they get... Free health care for illegal... Ill 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 <laughs> You're worried about the immigrants dying up here? This, this is... It, so you want to close the border for humanitarian reasons so that Venezuelans don't die walking through Mexico? What? But many of the people coming up are from prisons and jails. Well, I guess we should be glad they're dead. Whew, that was lucky. Oh, I mean, I, I hope most of those guys, boy, I hope they die before they cross the border or coming through the border. I, hope they, I don't want them to have to come into here and have to, you know, uh, you know, Kind of get a mag dump from a police officer to take care of them. I, you know, you know. So, so I guess what you're trying to tell us is, is that if they die walking here, we should be happy because they're crazy murderer people from mental institutions and insane asylums. Both or neither, my, my half, probably, my, you know, probably fifty-fifty. 
probably, they probably spend some time, they probably start off. Yeah, they probably start off in the mental institution and then go to the insane asylum. Some people go to the insane asylum right away because they're other, and then they get better. So they go to the mental institution, but they're not ready to be let out until the American border opened, thanks Joe Biden, and then they could be let out of the mental institution. So they probably, they're probably not letting anybody out of the insane asylum. They're probably sending them out of the mental institution because obviously, <clears throat> I don't know if you know this, but psychotic murderers and rapists all have a terrible sense of direction. So even if you let them out and you're like, Go to America. They're like, lady. Um, Many are terrorists. You see. Sure. Lots. Most of them, especially the women with kids. See it. Many, many. Well, yeah. And also, technically, um, I, I will say, in defense of maggots, every person that crosses the southern border legally and illegally is a terrorist because brown people scare the shit out of them. I think that's primarily the, the reason. I think it's like, these are terrorists. Why? I'm terrified. They're speaking Spanish. There's going to be a taco truck on every corner. It's terrifying. You're terrorists. And I. Wait, hold on. Asylums. Many are terrorists. You see it. Many, many are terrorists. Do I? Do I see it? Have we seen it? I, I, honestly, have you guys seen it? Have we seen a lot of many, many, many terrorists? A lot. <clears throat> I mean, granted, I mean, uh, not even beyond the standard that I would lay out for maggots, which I stand by, um, that they are terrified, therefore terrorism. Uh, I, I just haven't, not a fucking, none of them were present on Jan 6 that I'm aware of. I'm just saying. And I believe the real number that we have right now is probably closer to 15 million people. And we still got 9 million unfilled jobs. What the fuck is going on? And by the time... The term ends. I believe the president's term ends. I believe you'll be at close. As opposed to like a, a, a verbal term, like a, or your prison term. Okay, it is important to clarify because Biden will have a term and then he'll have another term. And this asshole is about to be sentenced to multiple terms. Maybe they're consecutive, maybe not. We'll find out. <laughs> to 20 million people. That's almost larger than any state in the union. Except it isn't. Our country, it is not sustainable. Also, your imaginary number is not an actual population. I'm just saying. Like, just because you've dreamt up the number 20 million and that's how many people are in New York State does not mean that 20 million people are in here. Just for the record. Also, the where he's getting that number for the record is this. They've made up the 8 million, which is closer to 3 and pretty much normal for the amount of people that crossed... Uh, during his presidency, but the recidivism and crossing multiple times drove the contact number up really high. So that's where you can say 8 million. And then the idea is that there's that magical 11 million we've heard forever, including dreamers, but also people who've just lived here forever, who are, you know, operating under the table. They Or they have a, a, a social security number that's fake, but they pay social security or social security gets paid on their behalf, but they don't actually get the money back, that kind of shit. Right. Many of these people are tough. Many yeah, they are. They're tough. They're, uh, yes. Uh, th that's why you'll find that a lot of the men crossing the border are what I call roofing age men. These people are bad. They come from some of the roughest countries in the world and some of the roughest prisons we have. Well, I mean, obviously you wouldn't have a, <clears throat> I don't know. It's hard to say. Like a rough, a country with rough prisons doesn't have to be a rough country. As a matter of fact, that's what keeps it from being rough. If you're rough to the criminals, then Technically speaking, you don't have, you'll have less, it's a little cushier, right? In theory, that'd be, you know, if you're tough, if it's a rough country, then you don't have rough prisons. If you don't have rough prisons, you don't have rough prisons. I'm just saying it's debatable. Are we talking about Guatemala? Prisons in the Congo, in Africa. Ah. If you're not scared of uh, Hispanic people or Mexican people or anybody vaguely brown, how about some black ones? That should scare the shit out of you. We're going to talk about terrorism. Africa coming we have people coming from all parts of the middle east really even the bad parts they're coming from yemen and yet you are bombing yemen well no we're bombing the houthi militants uh sites we're not bombing yemen we specifically as a matter of fact in their civil war you could argue that the houthi held territories they don't even consider it yemen really 
And the Yemeni government, the Yemeni people, would rather those guys fuck off. And we're not striking those. As a matter of fact, one of the reasons why we took the Houthis off the terror list was because we wanted to be able it to be easier to get aid into the Yemeni people. And then the Houthis started, they just sank a ship. Well, they, they sank it a while back. It was stuck there. They, they hit an oil tanker and all the oil spilled out of it because, you know, they're pro-Palestinian and therefore pro-oil slick and the ship itself just sank. You have to stop. You have to close the border. You have absolute authorization. You don't need Congress. I had this. Yeah, you do. And by the way, he's like, I had the safest border. Yeah, COVID was the way he shut the border. There was a na there was a pandemic, worldwide health emergency. That was what gave him the authority to do it. Once you end that, now if you want to say COVID's not over and we should have we should go back to pandemic protection levels and give the government that allow that amount of power all the fucking time then fucking say so, my man. Safest border in the history of our country. And, the safest border the and of our I didn't use Congress for it. <laughs> yes, you did. And then I built hundreds of miles of wall. And the reason I built it and how I built it was... Uh, with defense funds? I considered it an invasion of our country. And I took the money from the military. Uh-huh. I took the money from the military. Why did you, wig why did you waggle your dick? Weird, teeny little man. Why'd you do that when you said military? Watch this again. It was I considered it an invasion of our country, and I took the money from the military and the. <laughs> what was that? What? <laughs> I I'm not the only one that just saw that, right? Right. That the military. That is that the international. <laughs> that's the international uh, symbol for military. Just you wag your penis. Just you know the military. What, you mean the military? No, I mean the military. Oh, oh okay, for real. Like, the military. Yeah, the military. <laughs> so fucking weird. What a weirdo. Army Corps of Engineers did it with me, and we did a great job. Ew, those poor men. Great job. And we had the safest border we've ever had, and now we have the most unsafe border anywhere in the world at any time. There's never been a... So the wall doesn't work, is what you're saying. It doesn't... You can't just put it on autopilot and stuff so yeah hmm so what you needed was uh you know you like you always walls and wheels he always talks about walls and wheels yeah there's th two things will never change everything else is obsolete in a week but walls and wheels will be with us forever so uh, apparently the wheels had nothing to do with it unless you count the access road that you fucking built on the other side on the mexican side of the wall that allows people to travel even further get all the way to the end and and go around it on indian land or private land which we talked about ad nauseum but also i guess what what really was you know the thing that kept people out was walls and disease that's what we need to bring back walls and disease maybe that's why the maggots are anti-vaxxers maybe that's why they want a measles outbreak to scare off the immigrants where people are literally in Guatemala like we may be broke and there may be gangs and we may be in danger but at least we're not getting fucking measles who dies of measles anymore Jesus Christ at least we got an NGO over here giving everybody shots I'm gonna die a fucking take my kid up there and die of measles no job is worth that what like this at any country anywhere in the world they would have fought with sticks and stones Fought what? What do what, what, you think Americans should be down at the border hitting people with sticks and throwing rocks at people crossing the Rio Grande? Is that, is, th is that your solution? To stop the horrible situation that's occurring. Our <laughs> There's got to be one last piece of Adderall stuck in there, like one of the... Remember that little piece that blew out of my nose that one time? I know there's another. I can feel it bouncing around in there. Maybe if I suck on it hard enough, it'll activate. People can't stand it, and the people coming in really can't stand it. Yeah, they can't stand getting in so easily with the open. They hate the open border. Because they're dying. Many are dying on the trip.
Well, yeah. I mean, have you asked him after they're dead? Would you? What was the worst thing about it? You just standing over them with a microphone as they float by in the Rio Grande. What was it? What was the what? What miffed you about your trip up here, ma'am? What was your name, Bob? Trip up, and they're dying in the country, and also. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. They're dying, crossing the border. They're dying in the country. But you're still adding them to your giant number of 8 million people that have been added on top of the 11 million people? How many of the 8, uh, all right. How many of the 20 million are dead right now? Just, uh, just uh, give me a ballpark. Half? All of them? What the fuck? Many of the people are criminals. and But they're dead, so, you know. What? They're doing tremendous harm. I call it migrant crime. It's my. You, you, you originally pronounced it migrant crime, but okay. Migrant crime. It's a new category of crime. It's a new category. <laughs> Instead of migrants that commit crime, it's a migrating crime problem. It's like a. It's like waves of rape. Crime. They're hurting our country horribly. By dying here. They get all the way out of it. They break out of the insane asylum. They they rape and assault their way through Mexico. And then by the time they get to the border, they keel over. <laughs> what? And we've become a laughing stock all over the world. So I. Mm, no, I think that's a you. You might uh, somebody around you might need to let you know that that's a very localized phenomenon you're experiencing. Say we when you pick up the phone. And you hear that sound on the other end. They're not laughing at America. They're reacting like I I have reacted when you talk. Respectfully to President Biden, you have the authorization right now. <laughs> He's giving, I'm giving it to you as the real QAnon president, ipso facto, coitus interruptus. You magically, okay, I classify like i can declassify anything i classify you super president you're welcome goodbye don't use your newfound powers to send snipers after me even though you totally could and you shouldn't even think about it because a president should be free i did it <laughs> covid did it i didn't go to congress and say do i have the right to close i fought congress on it <laughs> yeah, and they didn't. They they said no, and they said no repeatedly, again and again. And then COVID happened, and you're like, oh, lucky me. Close the borders. You can do it right now. You have everything. Use my, my policies. My policies were great. <laughs> no, they weren't. It's not gonna. Muslim ban is not gonna do it. Everybody said it. No, they didn't. Use my policies. Wh which policies would that be? Just how about what policy? Just one of them. Just what? Close the border. Is that a policy? Or a, or a bumper sticker. So just to finish, I have <laughs> for the second time great respect for the Supreme Court, and I want to just thank them for working so quickly and uh, so diligently and so brilliantly. And again, this is a unifying factor. Everybody now is together, and they can go after me as a yes. Everybody, that's the um, now America is together on this. He can. He's a, still a candidate. He'll be on the ballot. And so we can all attack him together for the, the character of his person, not whether or not he's a candidate. It's not about whether he's a candidate or not. It's that he's a big fucking dopey criminal. And I think that could bring us all together. Politician that can go after me with votes, but they're not going to go after me with that kind of lawsuit that takes somebody out of a race who's leading in this case, but even if the person wasn't leading. And I want to- And you should sniff more. I think, I, I, think, I think it works. It's sort of like a weird punctuation thing. Thank you all for being here. Do we have any this questions? Yes. Okay, I guess we don't have any. Do you have any questions? No. Um, I don't know why C-SPAN cut off the questions. Uh, it's very sad, but- uh, Oh, whew, that was a lot. Uh, thanks, chat room. Good lord. Um, don't forget to hit the like, share the show. Oh, it's a, it's very look. Look at the crowd today. Uh, that's amazing. There's like, yeah, and and 
Yeah, and the chat room is huge. Even right outside, here. it's packed. I know. Yeah. Ugh. Whew. That was a lot. Now, on the other end of the spectrum, um, used up almost the whole show over that. Jesus Christ. Ugh. That's and and I may be exhausted. I may be spent. I don't know how much I have left in me. It was such an amazing show, everyone. Um, it's difficult. You can do it, man. Don't be afraid. Get in there and show him what's fucking what, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> let's. Go. I'm tell. I'm gonna tell you what. This is uh. It's gonna be a good time. I bet you could do it. I bet. You know what you should do. I think. Hey, there, chat room. How you guys doing? My God, there's a lot of people in there. That's Even it's outside, like, it's packed. I know, that's right. It's packed really tightly, too. It's like they, it's like they pushed, just really shoved it in there. Just like, use one of them chimney plugs or a, one of them things they use to make a cannon fire. You know what I'm saying? Let's <laughs> try to, anyways, uh, what I was uh, uh, talking about. Hit that like there. Oh, my God. Look, the chat is, there's a lot of people in there. I'm, it's. I'm feeling self-conscious. A lot of, I, let, eyes up, ladies. That's all I'm going to say. Eyes up. Okay. You know, on second thought, no. Eyes down. Further. 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 Stop right there. Okay, a little further down. No, I was wrong. Back up a little bit. Right about there. Uh-huh. Settle in. Just, just, just allow yourself to stare off into the middle distance. That's what I call this general area. Is the middle middle distance here? But uh, you uh, hit that like, God damn it! We gotta get this show bigger. We gotta get people to know his show is here. You gotta share it and do all that shit. I'm gonna, you know, buy some merch and, and super chat and all that stuff. He done lost his fucking Venmo thing. It was right there. I don't know where the fuck it went. Something funky going on. Hold on. Is it shit? I don't even know. We put we should just put it in there. I'll fix it later. I got some work to do on the show anyways. It crashed earlier this morning. I'm, I don't know if you know this, but I'm the show's mechanic as well. So a lot of times, Hal will get under there, figure out what's wrong, and then he'll hand me two ends of a wire and get me to hold the end of them as they shock me like that uh, until he gets it fixed. So where? Yeah. But, hey, do it. Come on. 